These series of videos are demonstrating how to automate economic policy through code. A link to the GitHub repository is included in the video description. In the previous video, the mystery of the equation was solved, and the myth of how encryption and replication must apply to transactions was dispelled. In this one, we begin with a demo of opening an account and explain what happens in the background. To give viewers a chance to warm up, we'll begin code reviews after the simplest use cases are demonstrated. In the next video, we'll demo a simple transaction. As of October 2021, the production environment is available at mxfactorial.io. Load the landing screen, insert an account name, insert a password, and we'll pause here. When people begin using the app, they won't create an account like this by merely inserting a name and password. They'll also have to transfer funds with a debit card or account routing numbers. The balance will travel from their bank to the treasury, where no one will be allowed to borrow it. It'll just sit in a transaction account until everyone comes to terms with the idea that money is just accounting. The only scientifically relevant information on money is the number, money's color, name, the pictures of people's faces, someone's handwritten signature, are all irrelevant. In addition to the number, system accounting records what money bought, to measure prices, and the names of the old and new owners. That information has scientific value. Now let's address the financial consequences of storing money at the treasury strictly as debits and credits. Those of you who were taught to always expect interest on their money may be asking, well, if the money goes to the treasury, how will I earn interest? Contrary to 20th century financial thinking, avoiding interest is not financial failure. The return you're expecting comes from a currency's capitalization of information, which is achieved by pushing prices lower through shipping useful R&D. In other words, the rate you're expecting isn't supposed to come from always lending your money to people who promise added value, but by increasing money's purchasing power through buying from people who prove added value. That's scientific achievement. Only in a banking economy is deflation negative, because monetary inflation is some kind of mutant measure of health. In a real economy, lowering prices through advancing R&D increases consumer wealth. Lastly, and then we'll finish the demo, system accounting does not limit adoption through a cutesy worded alternative accounting scheme, referring to coins and Mining. Converting the public in large numbers to an accounting system cannot wait for coins to be mined. Otherwise, the price of coins will explode, which defeats the purpose of low-cost accounting. Okay, let's finish the demo of opening a system account. Click the Create button and land on the home screen with a balance. Your money went from the bank to the treasury. In the next video, we'll demo a basic system accounting transaction. You may subscribe, share, and contribute from the buttons and links in the description.